Hi, folks. <coughs> Thanks for coming. So I'm from One Convergence. Uh, my name is uh, Roshan Gurapari. I just wanted to uh, go over uh, this uh, policy-driven uh, network service delivery, which is uh, the topic of my talk. So uh, we uh, at One Convergence, we believe we, it, you know, it is all about network services. It is all about policy. And it's all about these icons that you see here. So, uh, you know, basically things like, uh, uh, you know, how do you insert and change services? How do you uh, s scale out and accelerate all of th these kinds of things? So, um, there, are, there are a lot of vendors out there with uh, overlay-based network virtualization solution. So, the, so the, we, using network overlays, we think that is the right way to go. So because it uh, abstracts the physical, uh, underlying physical network and uh, you know, provides a clean way uh, that works on legacy networks as well as SDN-enabled physical fabrics. But uh, network overlays is only one aspect of the problem that a number of vendors are, are providing solution. What we believe is we need a lot more on top. So basically, on, on top of this network overlays, we're introducing this concept of service overlays uh, with, with our solution. So uh, when we say service overlays, we're talking about it is for network services, right? So things like uh, VPN, f you know, firewall, load balancer, IPS, IDS, you know, whatever, all of this network service layer. So they're being able to do things like uh, uh, the service orchestration, Lifecycle management, so the, the, uh, inserting and chaining of services, whether it is a, uh, basically uh, any of these kinds of services, and, and uh, uh, things like elastically scaling out a service, right? So uh, distributed load balancing and elastic scale out, being able to provide those kinds of things. So that is when I say when we're saying uh, auto scaling or scale out, that is we're talking about horizontally scaling in the cloud. But uh, uh, Accelerate is another aspect. So Accelerate is basically how you scale each instance of the service up. So, uh, uh, I mean, auto scale is like horizontally you know, sp uh, uh, scaling and auto sc Accelerate is more like what we implying is how you can scale uh, using uh, intelligent uh, uh, NICs like uh, Cavium's Liquid I.O. So being able to offload uh, uh, things like uh, vSwitch, uh, VXLAN, NCAP, DCAP, and even as well as some some of the network services API functions, like uh, you know crypto, SSL, DPI, those kinds of things. So uh, so th this is this is where we we are adding uh, as a company a lot of value. I think this is the problem that needs to be solved. So it's not just about network overlays. So and then have a policy to drive. This uh, net, the network uh, overlays as well as the service overlays. So we are uh, one of the key contributors for group-based policy. So we b believe in that having uh, uh, higher level abstractions that are application uh, deployment friendly. So and have this policy model, uh, uh, which is group-based policy is there in OpenStack. You know, so we we have actually. Uh, put out a white paper, and we are the contributors. It is open source effort. There are a number of companies involved. So, so we use that model basically to drive network and services overlays. So basically, this is this is our solution. So talking a little bit about this uh, policy-driven approach, right? So user uh, expresses his in intent. In a, uh, with a higher level of abstractions, right? not having to deal with uh, the, the lowest level ports, nets, subnets, and all of that. So, but being able to, uh, so that you don't, it, things can be very flexible in terms of uh, easy to define and easy to change. So I'll show you in the demo. So uh, basically, so this can, be, this can be defined in a policy template. Uh, or you could do it through GUI or, or other things, basically. So that gets uh, rendered uh, through, through our uh, group-based policy driver that we have. So the GBP framework is in, is in OpenStack. 
and we have our NVSD driver of our group-based policy, so which, through which those policy gets rendered to our controller, our, our network controller, service overlay controllers, basically, and, and, and then we realize the networks and services, uh, so, so all of that without the, the uh, user specifying all of those, we're able to realize those. So some of the things is basically, so uh, we, uh, we, we basically abstract services into, into three types of based on insertion mode into uh, TAP, or L2, or L3. So, uh, and, and basically we provide uh, these APIs for insertion and chaining and uh, this uh, being able to use in this de declarative model uh, as defined by GBP. So essentially we have, there is a GBP, GBP API that maps to our uh, NVSD policy API through our driver. So, so fits in with that, with that uh, framework. So uh, basically heat can be used for uh, orchestration and automation. And uh, so we, we support things like elastic scale out that I mentioned. So uh, another thing is, um, what we're on our platform, what we're doing is we're integrating a number of open source and leading OEM network services. So, so essentially that way, you know, if somebody is deploying uh, things, they don't, you know, so they can do mix and match of open source and leading vendor services. So for instance, right now we've already integrated uh, HA proxy, PFSense, Snort, Suricata, all of these open source stuff, as well as some of the leading uh, vendor OEM uh, services like, uh, for instance, F5, uh, ADC, and there are a number of other ones we'll be, you know, announcing soon that we're uh, integrating. So, so it is very powerful that you're not, so you're able to do a mix and match or even for a cloud service provider being able to, based on what their customer is, is subscribing to, being able to, uh, you know, provision those kinds of services. So, um, Basically, we'll sh I'll show you a demo uh, in terms of how you can do uh, uh, something like this, you know, very simple, simply using uh, 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 this uh, group, where we're using the group-based policy framework with our pro product, you know, as, as I described. So to be able to realize, you know, the, this type of topology. So without specifying a lot of the lower level uh, de details, right? So if you look at it here, so uh, I talked about three insertion modes. So IDS is like their tap. So actually this topology is a little different than I guess the demo, but we're showing an L2 service insertion and an L3, right? L3 is a web application firewall. So now let us go through this demo. So I'm playing this video. Let's see. Okay, so we're, uh, we've been showing different things. So in this particular demo, we're showing basically uh, a snort uh, they're doing a copy to a tap, you know, basically IDS, snort, and then a redirect. So there is a, a redirect action uh, to a service chain. So where it is a, a Suricata, an IPS, uh, and, and a layer three service, WAF, basically. So this demo, oops. So in this demo, you will be showing things in the, oh, this is the, uh, the heat template. So pretty simple. So you're defining a service chain node. Uh, and then, uh, so, yeah, so, so the, here you're simply defining this very high level constructs that are GBP constructs. So, I'll, 
and then now we're creating these uh, different uh, uh, groups, right? There is a uh, web group, app group, so uh, and creating a provider and a consumer, right? So the the consumer is the source, provider is the destination. So this is the uh, this is in OpenStack. This is a GPP API, so GPP UI. So we're showing that. The, so the things are clean now. None of these services, nothing is exists. So everything is empty, right? So we're so we're going to launch the heat template, and then you'll see. Uh, so the, the basically whatever was shown to you, we'll run that, and see those things created here. These are the uh, service providers. So these have not been created yet. So WAFs, not Suricata, as shown in the picture. So now uh, running it in uh, heat. to create all those, uh, those resources. So now you can see all the resource list that is created. So, the, so these are all. Uh, so now you come back into OpenStack. You can see all these instances that are up now. Right. So earlier, so it was clean. There was none of this stuff. Right. So now you can see all of these things showed up in this UI. You could have created this from the UI too, so or CLI or or uh, Heat, and then this is now you are in our UI, the, the uh, uh, NVSD UI. So we're showing some of the same things here. So so the services are running now, and uh, these are the uh, the the connectivity groups, the web group and the app group. So now we're going through. Basically, so we're doing in the service routing and all of that. It'll show this, this UI is showing that. So service routing is kind of like uh, it is our terminology. So in heat, it is more like redirect. So uh, so the, so some of those things, right? Our connectivity groups we call connectivity groups in in heat. In sorry, in uh, GBP they are called uh, uh, policy target groups, PTGs, PTGs. Are our connectivity groups? I guess Cisco has endpoint groups, so there are different things. Um, so now uh, you can see these uh, all these ports and everything got created without actually specifying any of, the, any of this stuff. So these are all the list of the ports that got created. Earlier it was all empty, right? So. Based on this very high level definition, all these things got created. And now, so, so basically, now the, this is the, uh, the consoles of the various uh, services that are running. So, so we'll generate some traffic, right? And, and, and show uh, things being redirected, uh, a copy to a snort. Uh, to, to and to the service, copy to IPS, and and uh, and the WAF and all of this stuff. So so that's what so you're on these various uh, sc screens were showing all of that, so that uh, we created so basically from scratch we're, with a very high level constructs we're able to uh, create the the topology that we showed you, and now we're running traffic and you can see things are getting you know. Uh, copied and the service is working. So uh, these are all the instance consoles for the various services. And, uh, and then what we'll do is basically uh, remove uh, some of the things from the, one of the endpoints from, uh, from the connectivity group. And then you'll see that uh, it stops copying, you know, sending tra the traffic to snort. 
So, uh, so that basically you'll see that now. So we're deleting that the endpoint now, right? So, so it is showing basically how easy it is to to delete, add, and all of that without actually, you know, uh, basically things de decoupled from the physical uh, uh, topology without providing all of the detail. So now we remove that endpoint and running the traffic, you know. So and then you can add back in, right? So basically, you know, decide being able to copy to snort or not based on things being added and removed. So now we're adding an endpoint. We showed you, we st started out with a, a bunch of things that got created through heat, right? And we sent traffic. And then being able to affect a change by deleting something yeah. and now adding uh, something back. So we're able to do all of that, you know, without, so to make it very easy to affect changes. And so we think, you know, so this having this high level uh, policy model where you're, you're abstracting and, and uh, kind of decoupling from this physical topology makes it very easy and another very interesting thing is you can have layered uh, policies so you can have the infrastructure guy have his policy and then and then the application deployment guy can layer uh, his policies on top based on what the infrastructure guy allows so you can do even like layering of policies so so uh, basically that's kind of what uh, what we're showing. There is a lot more to the product, but uh, here what we're trying to show is how policy based on GBP framework driving ne these network services. That is what we're showing here. Another very important thing that I would like to point out is this accelerate. We're working with Cavium uh, using Liquid IO Intelligent Next. So uh, we have a demo for that. I'm not showing it here. So wherein it is very easy to, to redirect service chains to, for instance, the snort could be running on a, on a VM or on a server that is equipped with this accelerated intelligent NIC where you're able to offload. Uh, so the vSwitch is offloaded, the NCAP, DCAP, and, and potentially other functions like uh, uh, crypto and uh, DPI, this could all be uh, offloaded. And then what that could do is, uh, and we can basically create service chains and, and direct things to those kinds of things as well. So, so we're, we're, a, we're a partner of Cavium. We're also showing those kinds of things. So essentially, you know, on the fly, being able to affect these kinds of changes. So that is, that is what we're about. Any questions? Otherwise, I'm pretty much done. You can uh, stop by our booth. You can look at the demo, you know. And uh, uh, th so basically, you know, where we can offer uh, f uh, free uh, licenses for doing uh, evaluation POCs. So if you're interested, you know, contact us. We're also interested in establishing partnerships. So we're enabling more and more uh, network services, OEM uh, leading OEMs, working with system integrators. So would be happy to entertain all of that. Thank you.